Welcome back to Politics Watch. This is Sir P. Now today I'm gonna talk about the Chelsea Wilson. As in we're gonna actually show the man himself, the person the leader of the gang, and as you probably heard, he's now been found guilty. But today I'm going to also do a two for one. Yes, long time another one of them there. In about one hour's time, or exactly one hour's time, a second video will drop. And that video is about what is happening in Spanish town now and what is going to happen. Place is going to get serious. Right, so one hour's time, look out for that video. Let's look at Uchensi Wilson. There he is on your screen. I know people have been hearing this name, hearing this name, and can't put a face to the name. There you go. Right, I see um, nationwide, they have a picture with him. But as the big verdict was coming up, you know, I wanted a picture, a clear picture, where the people can actually know who this person is. Because all the way here is Uchensi Wilson, Uchensi Wilson, and nobody really know what he look like. Right, so let me talk about the case first in terms of how it played out. The judge or the, the courts have finally finished off the whole thing. Right, out of the original 25 people who were brought before the court, nine of them have been found guilty. For those of you who love mathematics, that's 36 percent, right? So less than 50 percent out of the 25. Now, remember, when you go to court, the only thing it's looking for is if you have enough evidence to convict not guilty does not mean innocent i don't know how many times i have to tell people this it no matter if you see somebody a draw away somebody in a one bush if you see them with your own two eyes if you go court go testify against that person and when you reach in the courthouse the defense lawyer is so good that's it make you start twist and turn and start making pure mistake that person will walk free right so not guilty does not be innocent it's not what you know it's what you can prove in a court of law and only nine people had enough evidence to get a conviction the rest of them gone in the yard right and of course some of the tell us uh, you know they were completely innocent and didn't even know all them in up in this anyway let's move on I was listening to some of the lawyers them speak, right? Peter Champagne, right? he was one of them, and he was saying that the police have to be really careful with this new anti-gang legislation, because it is so complex, right? forget a conviction, it is so complex that the police and investigators and then people, the detectives, they have to really be on top of their game, right? because historically, right, enough cases get lost because the sloppiness are the people that put the case together. Right, because remember, you know, people, you go in a court, this no look right, even though you could be the most guilty man in the world. If you go in a court and the defense team can show us, so listen, what this no match that, then how can we do this after this happen? If you get enough of those things, a guilty person can walk free. So, Peter Champagne is saying, listen, get in an act together and make sure that I come good. Listen, this is relevant information for the Klansman trial. Right, no people. Next thing more, I you couple of the people who get to really stand out. One of them was a policeman, right? He's a corporal, right? Corporal Knight, Corporal Lloyd Knight, a detective Corporal Lloyd Knight, right? And he did a jail for almost three years, and now they must say the evidence against him was strong enough, right? So he must forget Lego, gone in yard. The next person is um, the individual I spoke about briefly in yesterday's video, and that is the girlfriend of H. N. C. Wilson, right? Chantal Garden, she is also free. Check this out, now, no people. Where you're from the ground, say she come from prison, saying she's now a Christian. Yes, Eugenia Wilson, um, kerosene has turned her life over to the Lord. Now let me tell you something. When an ex kerosene become a Christian, you can clap, you can sing. You can praise and you can worship as loud as them. Because the kerosene know where the Lord has taken them from. And that is out of jailhouse. As I said to them for day. So when them drop in a church, them sing till it is deaf. And when the ex kerosene turn Christian, start getting a spirit, you have to evacuate all small children and all senior citizens from the center of the church. Because the kerosene Tone Christian, she a kick over every single chair. All the wind of them in the church are tear out. Fear getting a spirit and the norm and getting a spirit. 
get female kerosene. When them turn Christian, when them move from carry the kerosene to sister carry. You best believe so them getting a spirit so long the past have to come off of the pulpit. Come tap her up on her shoulder and say alright they can done now. 16, 17, 18 minutes straight. It's a kick on a go on because she know where the Lord has taken her from. I'm telling you, you see when time woman leave the badness lifestyle and go into the church for them testimony are the hottest testimony. Nobody can testify like them because they've seen it all. Make people tell about Dodo's sister, Sandy. When Sandy are testify, man, the whole church lift up. All the roof tear off with a Swiss or Hurricane Gilbert. So, people, you change the Wilson girlfriend. is now a born again Christian. So, look out for her coming to a pulpit near you. Now, enough people are wonder how come all of a sudden you start able to see change the Wilson person. One of the reasons why you never really get more um, details about him, and is really since the court case the name get bigger, is because he was known for being somebody who fly under the radar. As you can see, in the really nothing about him they really said 87, right? He wasn't really in the video light, he kinda shunned the spotlight, kinda shunned pictures and everything there. Most of them thing also wasn't your traditional badness. They were mobile. So you know like oh for example one other or clans or stone crusher they might have heroes where them just lock and them stay us and them lock them here and run them here. The train civil system was a mobile organization. So even though you officially saw St. Catherine they might come out of them dollar like Ochi on the north coast, peer robbery, peer shooting, thief car. One of the things they were specialising on was thief in care, right? They have some expert um um youth where you the thief people carry really fast. Right? And you don't know them have them corrupt cops and like them kerosene and appear information around, then pull a hit and then come back in a town. Right and then come back at St. Catherine and lay low until the next operation. So they were not really a traditional gang in the sense that them lock up at ends and them and what man and wife ends. That is why enough people don't know about them. So enough robbery, enough shooting had gone as far as Westmoreland and them place that it was the chain service and I carried it out. Right, but let me say, due to all the nature of the organization and they were not um they were not stuck in one location. So those type of criminals are the hardest to ping down. Right. You see, remember you know, people. Let's say for example you have something like Laristan and the gunman name would have base in a Laristan. You'd have residents who are see them day in, day out and cannot get the information or say something about them. When you're mobile, when you have move up and down like you change tables, it's hard for anybody really come say, you know, it's a him that because they might only see that person one or two times. Because that person might not even live a certain catching. That person might live in a Kingston, the next one live a Portmore, and they must link up for the ops. And then go up on the apps, come back and then gone again. So this is why even the witness, the witness was having a hard time really pin them down. Because again, as me say, a smaller organization, nowhere near as big as one other them young day. But what they had as an advantage was they were flexible. Go right there, so do this thief care, all animal and everything get them thief, right? Pre their last and right there. And the organization was also heavily built around money making, right? So for example, you know you have gangs like your clans who are really turf, right? They are war over turf, they want to lock off at ends and for example them don't even want nobody encroach on it even though they, they not really make the money off of this area they must feel to say I feel them area and no man if you come there right? and if you come there, they might go war your feet they might the bus park we make money right? and they mean war for that but they mean war just for turf they just for say are we running sir? Again, you change the wheels and then operate like that. Then they just move on. If, if it involves robbery, fast money, that a them thing. The kerosene was the one who was responsible for that, as usual. Right, them find a bag of money in our account, but you know that guy already. Very difficult to prove, say, um, illegal money. As you saw with the Zeke's case, them literally kept Zeke's too much money, my figure it back. So, people, let me say, this is probably the first scalp for anti gang. They found him guilty, leader of the, of the organization, plus a couple more charges. They're going to wait for you what the sentencing is like. But the first thing people need to keep in their mind is that the Chance Wilson case, any way it go, even if everybody did walk or everybody did found guilty, we need to remember this is really a test run for the Jamaican justice system. The lessons we have learned from this. This is what I'm going to use if you apply for the Klansman trial. In my opinion, that is the reason why they keep pushing back the Klansman trial because you change the Wilson at the end first. 
the need and utility we for n co oh, oh we can't use this we can't use that witness can do this alone okay we need this we need that all right cool and then them can apply it to the clansman trial so that is the big one coming up listen as me say them get the leader nine out of 25 um not less than 50 percent but the leader gone and by the way he was the main killer you know? so you know like how you have some gangs where for example your tesha miller is not exactly you know go to go run on the body and shoot the body right you might have him either seven they may really want to worry about but in your chance say listen he was the top shooter right he was the main killer so to be honest this is a success it's a success from the point of view that in terms of loss of life and who go or kill people the change civil in Ghana. Him was the real person where everybody feared. People him afraid of him. So uh, him them did really want to sink. Right. The rest of people them, the policeman with it, we bust the case. I don't know what's gonna happen to him career as a policeman. The carrier said Mr. Shigan at the church. Everybody got the rest of them get phone out, not guilty to go tell us the boy, them don't even know how they end up in there. Right. It is all a great conspiracy to set them up. You know the usual story already. Right, but people as me say, it's a victory, right? It's not 25 or 25, but it's a victory. And at this point, we have to celebrate any kind of small victory we can get. Right? I'm going to celebrate we have to about anti gang legislation. It's a new legislation. This is what they are taught to be the, the, one of the solutions to crime in Jamaica. We can see it work. All we can do is make, make them come up with them things and then judge it based on the results. And if the result is the leader of the organization, the most dangerous member, and eight other people gone to prison. Well, as I say, we can't beat them too bad. Right, so we have to take what we can get right now. Anyway, Patreon squad, big up on yourself. PIA, you don't know. People, look out. Look out for the second video in exactly one hour's time. Bless.